fud.wmv. Back in its heyday, Looney Tunes was a very popular show. With fame comes a price. And in the case of Hugh Harmon, the creator of Looney Tunes, his price was insanity. In 2006, a small group of fans were allowed into the studios at Warner Brothers Incorporated. These people have never been identified. They went into the room where Harmon wrote some of the episodes. When the group decided to take a picture, one of the members backed up to get a better shot when the back of his foot hit something. It was a small case. Written on it were indecipherable scribbles and random sketches of unknown characters, assumed to be from Looney Tunes. Some of them looked like prototypes of existing characters. Inside of the case was a film reel. They picked it up and read the label. It said, Hugh Fudd. They assumed it was a test reel created by Mr. Harmon himself. The fans, of course, were very excited and quickly went over to a reel projector that had already been set up in the room beforehand. They loaded the reel up and started the projector. This was not a vintage projector, rather a modern one that scanned the reel and then displayed its images on the wall. The employees set it up for the group as a part of the tour, knowing that they would want to see some old cartoons. They proceeded to watch. The following information was collected when the video was analyzed. It started out to be nothing but static, as if the reel itself was interfering with the projector. Then came up a picture of Elmer Fudd, blankly staring at the screen. The music was, well, not even music. It was one continuous note with varying pitches. Elmer's eyes were bulging and more realistic than what is usually seen in these cartoons. His hat, however, was a different story. It was poorly drawn and the color seemed to be scribbled on. The brown color from his hat overlapped his face a bit. The video got progressively more shaky. This went on for about 30 seconds. Elmer's face quickly overtook the screen, his eyes dark red and white pupils. The static got worse than it ever was. You could barely decipher what was happening. All that could be heard was a grown man repeatedly screaming as if being tortured. This went on for about 30 more seconds. Then as the screaming faded out, an image popped onto the screen. It was Bugs Bunny, ribcage exposed and eyes whited out. He was screaming, hands covered with blood. The noise I heard was screaming, and it sounded as if someone put a microphone right up to the screamer's mouth. The screaming was constantly cut off, and when he screamed, the static got worse. One can hear the faint sounds of the blood curdling screams of an infant. The screen went black. After two seconds, a video clip of an unknown episode reversed. It was too distorted to see what it was. After the clip ended, a face with red eyes and red teeth appeared on the screen, accompanied by faint screaming. This concluded the video. Eyewitness accounts say that the group had run out screaming. One of them jumped out of a window, while two others slit their necks with the broken glass. The last ran out and was never to be seen again until 2007 when he robbed the studios 
and took the video with him. This could explain why it was uploaded onto YouTube. The question is, why it took him until 2011 to upload it. It is said that he's obsessed over it. It was his whole life. But after the robbery, he was never heard from again. Even when the authorities tried to track down the IP address that uploaded the video, it said it never existed. The video is still studied today.